Yo, what's up, everybody? This is JC, y'all. And I'm back, y'all, with another video. And also another eye-opening message, okay? And on this video, in this trooper topic, I just want to speak the truth about you should not murder her, okay? You should not murder her, okay? That was in the book of uh, Exodus, chapter 20, verse 13, okay? Y'all should not murder her. That means y'all y'all not killing. Y'all aren't supposed to be killing, okay? And I'm talking about y'all should not killing innocent people, okay? That's the reason why I'm doing the videos for that for that one, okay? And y'all already heard this message. Y'all already heard in the Bible. Y'all already know the Ten Commandments. Y'all already know the preachers telling you about this stuff. But the sad is, majority of the preachers did not go, go over that kind of stuff, okay? But you need to find now... You need, you know what I'm saying? You need to hear this. The real truth is, okay. Now they got some people, man. You know, have a weapon to protect themselves, okay. And I'm just gonna tell you this. I'm just do what I can to speak the truth about this. I'm gonna just tell you what I know. I ain't tell you a number of lies. I'm just telling you the truth what I know, okay. God want me to do this video, okay. Y'all should not be a murderer, okay. Now, I just want to talk about this. I'm going to go ahead and go to the point about this, okay? Um, about y'all should not kill, okay? You ain't supposed to be killing innocent people, okay? You ain't supposed to be killing innocent people. You ain't supposed to be take somebody else's life. Can't do that, man. You cannot take somebody else's life for nothing. If you don't really like that person, you got to move on. Start look at the person. You don't like that person? Move on and stop killing a person. You cannot took somebody else's life like that. You can't do that, man. I don't care who you are, who listen to my videos, man. If you are that person who want to kill somebody, you're reaping what you sow, okay? I don't care who you are. I don't care you're black or white. I don't care you're young and old. If you if you are that person, you do all that killing, somebody else going to find you and they're going to take your life because you kill innocent people, Okay? You cannot kill innocent people like that. You can't do that, okay? God did not say for y'all to take somebody else's life like that for nothing. Can't do that, man. That was in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 13. You should not murder, okay? I know majority of preachers out there, they're not going to tell you all kind of stuff. Preachers, all they tell you is, thou should not kill. Thou should not kill. And you're just skipping in the words and all kind of stuff. But I got to talk about this. I got to talk about this. And I got to go over this kind of stuff. Excuse me. I'm kind of a little Belgian. Got something in my throat. Okay. Now let me take you. Let me take you somewhere else. Okay. Let's start with Oregon. Okay. Let's start with this, this evil psychopath dude. Okay. This guy in Oregon killed innocent people in college. Okay. You already heard it. What's going on in Oregon. Okay. You know. Oregon's a beautiful state, okay? I don't know much about Oregon, okay? I don't know much about Oregon because I'm in California because California is next to Oregon. That was in, I think it's in Northern California. That was on the North area, okay? Now, you see what's going on, okay? Y'all heard on the news every single day sometimes, all right? You seen, you heard what's going on. This evil, evil, demonic young dudes kill innocent people. They kill men. They kill young man and young girl in college. They kill like 20 people in college. Took somebody else's life like that for nothing, okay? This dude is straightening up Satanism, okay? And, I'm, and, and I gotta say this, man, because I gotta say some spiritual stuff, okay? But this is the real world we live in, y'all. Y'all guys, people really know where I'm coming from, okay? This evil psychopath killed innocent people in Oregon, all right? Y'all already know where I'm coming from, okay? He takes somebody else's life, okay? Some of y'all ask me, some of y'all ask me a question, say, JC, did he's in jail or prison? I really don't know. I'm really glad you asked. I really don't know. I think he was in jail or prison, okay? If I wasn't a police officer, I should have put his ass in an electric chair. That's right, because cause this dude is evil he killed he killed innocent people who makes him do that kind of stuff this dude got this wife or whatever he got in the sand i seen it i seen it he got this big old wife on the hand and start kill innocent people i don't know he killed a principal i don't know he killed a teacher but also all i know is he killed 
uh, 20 students or something. I don't know how many. I think it's 20 or 13. And some and some people wounded. Some people survive and some people not uh, survive. Not survive, okay? They kill innocent people, man. Okay? He he kill innocent people. It takes somebody else's life like that. That book that the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. You should not be murdering, okay? Now, now he in prison. He reaping with his soul, man. And guess what? God, God going to destroy him one day. Well, you never know. God forgive him or not, though, okay? But now, let me take you somewhere else, okay? Let me take you somewhere else. Now, I'm going to tell you my point is. Sound like y'all asking me a question. Well, Jason, what's going to happen if somebody else going to break your crib? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked me a question. I'm glad you brought that up. I will explain to you. I love to explain things to you. JC, what's going to happen if someone like him breaking up your crib? What you going to do? What you going to do? I said, well, what I'm going to do, if I have me a weapon, I got a right to kill that person because cause that person trying to break up my crib and he almost trying to kill me. I got to do I got to do something. I can't just sit in there and let him try to destroy us like that, destroy us home like that. I got to do something quick. I got to be real smart. I got to do something. I got to find a way to destroy this behind, okay, if they breaking up my crib, okay? Now, here, here's another one. Here's another one. Saying like, I went out, leave my fiance at home by herself. It's this dude named Tonio, the one I'm talking about. Man, I suppose man, the videos about this evil psychopath dude named Tonio. And he lying, talk about he from Louisiana, and he or actually he from Oakland, okay. And if I catch the dude, sound like if he trying to break into my crib and start murdering my woman, start raping and kill her, I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna wanna lose my mind. I'm gonna find that dude. I'm gonna kill that nigga so bad. That's right. I don't care what people say about me. I got a right to kill that person because he killed my woman, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, okay, what's going to happen, okay, if, if my woman got killed, if I find out, if I catch the new girl trying to put her hands on my woman, I got a right to destroy his ass, because he was evil, he ain't got no right to go to my crib or start raping and kill her, and I should have been doing something about that, I can't just sit in there, man, okay, that means I'm killing Satan's people, not innocent people, see, it's so sad that preachers never tell you about all kind of stuff, okay, Preachers is telling you, do not kill this person. Do not kill. Thou shall not kill. That was in the Bible. We already know that. We already know it in the Bible, man. We already know it in the Bible, okay? Y'all talk, y'all preachers, preachers talk about you should not kill people. You should not be doing that. You should not be doing that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Since you talk about that, what about people in the Bible? Okay. Let me give you an example. Let's start with Samson. Samson killing people? Yes. Yes, Samson killing Satan's people. He's trying to protect his family and himself. Y'all know what I'm talking Y'all know in the Bible, man. Come on, man. Stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about now. Y'all already know Samson killing Satan's people. Yes, he is. He killing Satan's people. God gives Samson a strength to kill Satan's people. That's right. That's right, y'all. Come on, man. Come on now. You want more proof? Let's start with um David. Y'all seen the movie David? I seen the movie David. Okay? Y'all seen David, he was young, he killed the Goliath, right? And he cut he cut the a giant Goliath head. Y'all let me let me repeat that. Yo, let me repeat that. Y'all not hearing me, man. Y'all act like y'all don't know where I'm coming from, man. Let's start with David. Okay? David, alright? David killed the giant, y'all. He killed the giant. He got the slaying shot and started slaying shot on his forehead. And after that, he cut his head off. David do the killing, y'all. And David killed the rest of, this, of Satan's people, man. Come on now. And y'all talk, and y'all talking about y'all ain't supposed to be killing. Y'all ain't supposed to be killing. Let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 13, y'all should not murder. That means evil people, you ain't supposed to be murder innocent people. Okay? But I'm talking about David killing Satan's people. Preachers never tell y'all about this. I'm trying to explain this the best I can, man. I'm doing what I can to speak a truth out here, man. Satan killed evil people, man. He do all the killing, man. You want more proof? Let's start with Noah. 
Noah killed Satan's people before before God before God destroyed the world. That's right, man. Cause I seen the movie Noah, man. I seen them all, man. I seen the new Noah. You see Noah kill bad guys, okay? Yes, he is, man. Yes, he is, man. Before God comes to destroy to put flood with a lot of evil people, man. Now you want more proof? Let's start the most high. Most most high God kill people. Yes, he is. Y'all talking about God is good all the time. God loves everybody, all kind of stuff. Let me tell you this. Y'all right. God is good, but you never know the bad inside God. Okay? God got a good good inside, and also he got a bad inside. That's right, man. I know what I'm talking about. Y'all can hang it up, man. Talk about God good all the time. Let me tell you this. God got a good inside of him, and also he got a bad side of him. It doesn't mean like God is evil. God is not evil, man. God is a good God, man. You got to understand this, man. You got to understand about God, man. Y'all, You don't know much about God. Y'all talk about God's love, all kind of stuff. Okay, what else? What else? That's it. No, no. Something's missing. Something's missing. Okay? God is love. But guess what? God did not love everybody the same. But it's... You gotta you gotta read it. You gotta read the Bible. You gotta study the Bible harder, man. You gotta you gotta understand about God, man. You know what I'm saying? God do the killing. You want more proof? Okay. God told Abraham, okay. God told Abraham to leave this city because he finna destroy the city, okay. Reason why God finna destroy the city because he got some evil, wicked people out there raping women, raping a child, and Paul they be balling every day. God finna destroy the city. God told Abraham to leave out of town, and he gave him the promised land. Y'all know it in the Bible. Y'all seen the movies, okay? God destroyed the city. Now the preachers out there talk about y'all should not kill. Preachers, yeah, you're right. We should not be killing, but. We're not saying we're killing innocent people, but he got some people killing innocent people. What are we gonna do? With, you know what I'm saying? What, you, what are we gonna do? And people trying to break into my crib. I gotta sit in there and let them do it? Hell no! Hell no, man! I can't let that people come in my crib and start breaking, uh, um, start killing my people. No way! No way! Now let me ask y'all a question. What's gonna happen if somebody kill your girlfriend? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk to your brothers, your brothers. What's going to happen if somebody else kill your girlfriend? What are you going to do? Okay, you're deep in love with that person, okay? I don't mean, I don't mean to confuse y'all. You love your girlfriend so much, you're deep in love with that person. If somebody else trying to kill your woman, what are you going to do? You want to kill that person, kill your girl, right? She's she's loyal to you, right? And you want to kill that person who did to your woman, right? Because that person is evil, they need to be shot, okay? Because he killed... He, you know what I'm saying? I'm just breaking down with you, okay? Now, your ladies out there, what's going to happen if your ex-husband's trying to kill you? What you going to do? You want to let him do it or you want to kill that person? Let me ask you a question one more time. What's going to happen if your ex-boyfriend or husband trying to kill you, trying to rape you? What you going to do? You want to kill that person? You want to get a knife and stab him? What you going to do? Okay? You want to survive? You got to you gotta find a way to kill that person because the dude's trying to kill you real bad. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you another, per Let me ask you another question. What's going to happen your husband got killed by somebody? So, what you going to do? Some of y'all women don't do nothing, right? Because you're a female. Okay? You're a female. You ain't got nothing to do about it. You just sitting there crying. Okay, I really don't blame y'all, okay? But I got some evil people out there do all kind of evil stuff, man. You know why? Because they working with Satan's kingdom, man. They working with Satan's kingdom, man. The Satan's people need to be destroyed. That's right, man. That's right, man. And preachers never tell y'all about this kind of stuff, man. All that preachers tell y'all, thou shall not kill, thou shall not kill, thou shall not kill. Okay, okay, okay. Preachers. All right, preacher, pastor, let me ask you a question. Since you want to tell me, thou should not kill, okay? You already know the Ten Commandments, and I know it too, okay? What's going to happen if somebody else breaking your crib? What you going to do? You want to sit in there looking stupid, right? I'm going to ask you one more time, preacher. What's going to happen? The evil people, how many break people in your house? 
what you gonna do? You wanna sit there and, and, and take one of your stuff? You don't even know that person trying to kill you. What you gonna do? You wanna let that person kill you? You stupid, man. You talk about you talk to the person, talk about thou should not kill. Okay? Tell Satan people there. Tell Satan people you should not do all the murder. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real honest, man. I'm just showing you some words the best I can, man. I'm just telling you what I know, man. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 13 to say, y'all should not murder. You cannot murder innocent people, man. Can't do that, y'all. You can't do that, man. You will. You will going to pay the price. And also, you're going to hell for that for kill innocent people, man. That's right, man. That's right. And I'm doing what I can just break it down with you all. You can't kill innocent people, man. Y'all should not murder. You cannot murder innocent people, man. That's right, man. And also, I got to be saying, this is JC. I'm just doing what I can. Just break it down to the truth. I'll just tell you what I know, man. I'm out. Love you guys. Peace.